Hello everyone, my name is Allison and I'm a teen librarian at the Schaumburg Township District Library and today is the sixth episode of Lunch and Listen where I invite you to grab your lunch and sit back and relax where I will tell you all about some great young adult books based on a weekly theme. This week's theme is mysteries and thrillers. However, I do want to give you a heads up that the books I am talking about today are dark stories that cover sensitive topics including abuse and murder. Therefore, today's titles are recommended for ages 14 and up. So, today's video is going to be slightly shorter because although I'm talking about four titles, I have kept my recommendations very short so I would not give away any of the book's twists, turns, or shocking endings. So I'm kicking off today's video with Monday is Not Coming by Tiffany Jackson. Monday is missing. And the only person that seems to notice is her best friend, Claudia. How can a teenage girl just up and vanish without anyone even noticing she is gone? Claudia plans to find out. You will read her investigation into Monday's disappearance in a non-linear way as the plot goes back and forth in time. So make sure you read those chapter headers or it can get confusing. The second I started reading this book, I knew I too needed to know what happened to Monday. And the ending was not what I was expecting. If you give this book a chance and read it and enjoy it, then you should definitely check out the author's other books as well. Monday's Not Coming can be read immediately through Hoopla, either as an ebook or audiobook. So next up is Time Bomb by Joelle Charbonneau, a thriller that I think fans of One of Us is Lying will enjoy. Six teens are in the local high school when a bomb goes off trapping them inside and forcing them to work together to escape. But it's hard to work together when you aren't sure who you can trust. And everyone seems to be hiding a secret, especially when you find out that someone from inside the building set off the bomb. Told from each of the six teens' perspectives, Time Bomb is a tense, fast-paced thriller that will have you on the edge of your seat. So. Next up, I will be discussing A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson, and I think this title is a good choice for those that were fans of Sadie by Courtney Summers. Five years ago, local teenager Andy Bell was murdered by her boyfriend, Sal, or at least that's what everyone in town thinks, or almost everyone. Pippa believes Sal is innocent, so she decides to uncover the truth as her senior capstone project. And the more she digs up local secrets, the more dangerous her pro project becomes. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder is a well-written mystery suspense with plenty of interesting characters and a few twists to keep you guessing. And the last book I'm highlighting today is Keep This to Yourself by Tom Ryan. Mac's best friend Connor was one of the four people murdered last summer by the catalog killer in their small seaside town of Camera Cove before they disappeared without a trace. After a rough year of grieving, Mac finds a note Connor left behind for him on the day of his death, and he jumps into action to try and solve the case of the catalog killer, to bring justice to the victims, and to give himself some closure. Keep This to Yourself has a truly shocking ending. My face was literally like this when I read it. Although I recommend all the books on this list, if you are a fan of mysteries and you only pick up one book that I've talked about, I think it should be this one. And to make it even easier, Keep This to Yourself is available to read right now on Hoopla as an audiobook or ebook. So that's it for today. As always, I will include the titles of the books I talked about, along with links to past lunch and lunch listen videos in the description below. Thank you all so much for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. And please stay safe. Happy reading!